hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel please if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comment and share so today i'll be showing you how to draft your roof and without further ado let's dive right into the video first of all you have to make sure your fabric is on fold so after folding your fabric you're going to go ahead to determine the highest circumference of your client's measurements so in my case the circumference of my client's measurement is 44 inches which is our hips divided by four that's 11. so because it's a robe we'll be needing extra inches for ease and allowance so i'm just going to go ahead to see if i have enough so now as you can see i have about over 13 inches so that's enough so the next thing I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to go ahead to mark one inches from the edge because the edges are quite rough just to give it a smooth edge. So I'm marking one inches downwards Then I'm going to use my ruler to connect it like so. So that will start, serve as our starting point. So what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be determining the length determining the length of my rope. The length of the rope I want to use is um 39 inches and that 39 inches also goes with my aiming like folding it in below so i'm just going to normally i'm using 38 inches plus one inches to aim it that's 39 inches that's why i'm marking 39 inches so i'm just going to go ahead to use my straight ruler to connect like so the next thing i'll be doing is i'm going to be marking my shoulder my client's shoulder divided by two that's 8.5 because 7 divided by 2 that's 8.5 then i added half inches allowance for the sewing so after that i'm going to go ahead to come down by one inches from that point also i'm going to go ahead to mark how wide i want my neckline to be so i'm using three inches so i'll be marking three inches on that same line then i'm going to go ahead to use my ruler to connect it from this point to this point so i'm just connecting it like so so after i'm done connecting it i'm just going to go ahead to mark my arm hole so i'll be using 10 inches because this person is an extra large person so if you are within medium small you can decide to use eight to nine inches so i'm using 10 inches for my clients then i'm just going to go ahead to use my straight ruler to connect it like so so i'm just going to go ahead to take whatever i have on this my line i have nine inches here i'm just going to go ahead to mark it here also just to give it a straight line basically that's just the point so i'm just going to use my straight ruler to connect it like so even though your hand is going to be straight you can just go ahead to join it but i just want accuracy so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'll be taking my bust measurement divided by four my client's bust measurement is 42 divided by four that's 10.5 plus 1.5 plus this that's 12 so i'm just going to mark 12 inches and i'll add extra one inches for sewing allowance so that's what i'm doing exactly so the next thing i'm going to be doing is on the m line i'm going to go ahead to divide my hip measurement my hip measurement is 44 divided by 4 that's 11.5 plus 1.5 for ease that's 12.5 plus 1 inches for the sewing allowance that's 13.5 so i'm just going to go ahead to mark 13.5 on the m line then i'm going to use my straight ruler to connect my lines like so so on my arm o line i'm going to go ahead to determine the midpoint so in my case the midpoint is about five inches then i'm going to come back by half inches then i'm going to go ahead to use my curve ruler to connect it like so so to form my back neckline, I'm coming down by 1 inches. Then I'm going to go ahead to use my curve ruler to connect it like so. 
the next thing is i'm going to go ahead to cut out my back piece so this is what our back piece looks like so we are going to cut our front pattern now so i'm just going ahead to fold another piece of fabric then i'm going to go ahead to place my back pattern properly make sure you're placing it properly on top of the folded fabric and please make sure you are leaving enough space before you place your back pattern at least three to four inches but well, in my case i'll be using just three inches as you can see i'm just measuring three inches also three inches so um what i'm going to be doing next is i'm going to determine how deep i want the opening to be so i'm just going to mark two inches below my arm hole line or my bust line whichever you you want to call it so that's what i did here so from that point i marked i'm just trying to um indicate my neckline so i'm just going to bring this up then go ahead to use my straight ruler to connect it down to that point i marked just like so so i'm done with that so i'm just going to go ahead to use my straight trailer to con to connect my aiming properly just to make sure the front and the back aligns properly that was what i did there so after doing this i'm just going to go ahead to cut it out I'm trying to cut out the front neckline just raise the back pattern then cut it out like so so i'm just going to slash this open voila we have our front and back piece now i'm just indicating it by writing it down so you guys understand so that's that for now so i'm going ahead to cut out my sleeve for my rope so first of all because we don't have a smooth edge i'm just going to go ahead to mark half inches from this point the point of doing this is just to give us a smooth edge where we, which will serve as our starting points before we start taking our measurement so i'm just taking half inches down then i'm just going to use my straight trailer to connect the line like so so the next thing i'll do is I'm, i'll be marking the length of my sleeve i'm using six in, 16 inches with the aiming so i mark 16 inches and ruled out a straight line so the next thing i'll be marking is five inches so if you're a smaller person you can use about four inches but i'm using five inches for my clients then i'm going to go ahead to mark that 10 inches which was our arm hole measurement we initially took from my fabric if you can remember so i'm adding one inches sewing allowance also then i'm just going to go ahead to use my ruler to draw a straight line because it's it's not fitted it's a rope so i'm just going to rule it all through down so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead to place my ruler like so and connect it like this so after connecting it together i'm going to go ahead to determine the midpoint you just press your your tape like so so in my case 5.75 was the midpoint then i just went ahead to mark the midpoint then take your curve thriller to give it that arm all shape as you can see please make sure you're properly pressing your arm your arm all ruler so after doing this i'm just going to go ahead to cut out my sleeve i'm just blending it out first i'm blending it out so yeah so just go ahead to cut it out For the second sleeve, I'm just going to go ahead to fold my fabric again, then place my sleeve on it, then just cut it out. Since it's the same sleeve, so that's it basically. I also went ahead to cut out stripes I will be using. So you can decide to cut about 5 inches, but I used just about 3.5 inches because I'm trying to maximize my fabric. So I would advise you guys to use at least 5 inches. So this is our back now so just place this like so then you take the front 
and place it like so and you sew by one inches on the side on your machine you take your machine sew by one inches on the side and half inches on the shoulder so you do the same for the other side also one inches half inches yeah then you also go ahead to aim the lower part then you take to your machine now so this is what i have after sewing up the sides and also the shoulder also i went ahead to aim the lower part as you can see this is what i have also the next thing i did was i joined i sewed up the sides of my sleeves as you can see i sewed up the side by one inches and i aimed the lower part i did that for both sleeves so i did the same for both sleeves so i'm gonna add to notch the edge of my sleeve which is the midpoint so i'm just going to place it directly on my shoulder like so that part i joined then you can pin it down then i'm also going to go ahead to take the other side where i joined on my sleeve and place it on that joining of my rope as you can see that's the joining so just make sure it's properly aligned and so by half inches you do the same for the other sleeve also so after the end you're just going to go ahead to take your strip and sew it up by half inches so what you do is you're going to fold the strip a little like so then place it directly on the aiming then you're going to sew it up by half inches all through now this is what i have after attaching my sleeve also this is what i have after i've gone ahead to sew up the strip by half an inch as you can see now i'm just going to go ahead to fold it make sure you iron it before you fold it then you're just going to fold it up by half an inch then you're going to place it like so then take to your machine to sew it up all around so you have something like this as you can see so now this is what i have after sewing it up properly as you can see then i'm just going to go ahead to take this to my ironing table to iron it all through so that will be all thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comment and share for more videos and god bless you bye